What's good? Team exclusive and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today of course is day two of Footmas, otherwise known as Foot Freeze. Still not too sure about that, but um, yeah, day two, obviously. Um, we are going to check out the new player SPC. I haven't seen anything, so I don't know who it's going to be. Obviously, the title will tell you who it's going to be, but I have absolutely no idea. Of course, we're going to look at the new um, puzzle SPC as well, and if there's any new objectives in store, as I can't imagine there would be, but you never know. We shall jump straight in, see what's, uh, see what's happening. Of course, still at the Freeze Balassi. I can swap one and I can swap two. Um, I've got Silver Beast, which is quite nice, I suppose. Rare, rare Mega Pack. Um, can't imagine it'll be too easy, too difficult to complete this. Score 10 with the Silver Team of the Week. Score Battles Arrivals, assist 8 with the Silver Players. Win 5 Squad Battles uh, or, or Rivals. And then score three with a silver player in three separate squad battles matches. So not very difficult for a rare mega pack. And uh, that's quite nice. Serie A still there. And that looks like that's about it, really. Nothing uh, nothing too exciting going on. Um, anything new in teams? Finally, finally, the teams have ended. I actually wonder if you actually get any rewards for doing this. So no matter where you finish, you still get a TIFO reward of whoever you chose. Which I guess is quite nice. We've got Gerard. Not that I'll probably ever use him. Um, so that's pretty much that. Milestones. Nothing, uh, nothing new there. So what's left is to have a look at the player SBC. Who's it going to be for this week or for today? I'm very, very excited for. Hopefully it's not somebody dead. We've got and Saudi. Okay. Wait. I'm confused. So, I mean, okay, and Saudi's not the greatest. He does look kind of okay, to be honest. Argent, he's a right back as well. That's quite nice. Argentinian right back. It's actually quite, um, quite an enticing card. 87 pace, 84 defending, 80 physical, 84 passing with 84 dribbling. Very, very nice. Passing is great. Pace is, you know, immaculate for a right back. Obviously, putting put like a shadow or something would uh, make that very, very top tier. Dribbling is excellent. Um, defending is excellent as well. And, and um, physicals are really nice. You know, I suppose only but by uh, strength being, uh, being a little bit low. But um, very nice looking card. Very nice looking card. The only thing that really confused me was that uh, obviously Marquinhos, Marquinhos is there for three days. Like, they, I don't know what they've done. Like, first of all, I I really like the idea of Footmas being, you know, the players being same number as the day that they, they, they're they released on. So whenever they start Footmas, say like in, you know, this year, it was on the 11th. So I thought Markinos would be number 11, but he's number 5, so that doesn't make any sense. And then, uh, God knows, God knows, really enjoyed that aspect, um, but it is what it is. Yo, you need an 85 rated squad, team of the week, and a Serie A player. That's crazy. That's crazy. What kind of chemistry do you need? 65. So I suppose that's not terrible, but an 85 team of the week player, that's a bit much. It's a bit much. He had an 86, which I was... It's tempting. It is tempting. I do think Markinos is probably better value for what you're going to get out of him. He's a very good... I wouldn't say end game CDM, but he's a very good top tier for the moment anyway, CDM. Uh, you know, great pace, great passing, great defending, physicals, dribbling, that kind of stuff for what you need. Um, so I think he could really do a job. And Saudi, on the other hand, I think is a, is a bit expensive. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But um, let's have a look, see what uh, freeze challenge we've got today. Rare gold pack. Jesus. Uh Four. What do you have to do to get this? Let's see if it's going to be another overpriced SBC. Players from the same league, maximum five. Players from one club, minimum three. Rares, minimum one. Gold, minimum three. And minimum quality silver. So not terrible stuff. Not terrible stuff. Once again, we are going to go away, complete this, and I'll be back in two seconds. And there we go. So there is my completed squad. I probably used a few too many rares, but, you know, strong links and that. So, 
yeah, overall, not very expensive at all. Just using loads of silvers and uh, just Arsenal players. And as we know, Arsenal players are garbage, so they're very cheap. And there we go. So easy as you like. But yeah, so um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a little bit disappointed with this whole freeze promo and, and kind of taking off um, Footmus. Because I, I always thought Footmus was kind of like a staple point of FIFA. It was always something to really look forward to. You know, getting into December, oh, it's Footmus time. But now it's just Foot Freeze and it's not really the same. Um, I guess it's probably just the point of what you're used to against what's being new. But it's just, I don't know. I like the whole, you know, numbers for what players, you know, the numbers they played at being the numbers of the days of, of Footmus leading up to Christmas and the New Year and that kind of stuff. And then giving us uh, players related to that. That I, I don't know. They always lasted a day, I'm pretty sure, as well. So I don't know why they, they, they're putting them for like three days a piece. But it is what it is. We do have a new kit. Round of applause kit. Um, silver players minimum ten. Players from the same nation, region maximum four. Clubs minimum three. I just think it's way too expensive for a kit. I like. I mean, you can only choose really one or two kits, and ultimately, most of the time you don't actually see your opponent's kit because you have to choose your own. So. It's uh, really pointless, really pointless stuff. But I believe that's everything. Unless there's any new icons. Have they released any new icons? They have not. League SPCs are the same garbage that we're used to. League and Uber Eats is there for um, another seven days. You get some trash, uh, trash gold packs. And then you've got the MLS, of course, as we saw briefly yesterday. And the Cydia gives you a Jumbo Rare gold pack, which is totally pointless. Um, and icon swaps as well still there so that's pretty much it for today we have an ans we have an ansaldi right back um footmus uh, footmus foot freeze footmus i don't know um again i think really good looking card i just think he's a bit expensive i don't understand ea's problem just like you know spc cards why do they have to be so expensive i get the argument of like you know, with Bruno, oh, he'd be a million coins on the market, but he's not on the market. You know, he's an SBC card. And who cares if everybody has him? Like, it's FIFA. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's open this pack to finish things off. Finish things off. Hopefully, in the next coming days, we might have some more exciting Footmas cards. Nothing to shout about for this one, but it is boards. Dutch. Centre mid. Ooh, yo, Genie Wijnaldum. Is he still expensive? He might be still expensive. Who knows? I can't sell him. Brilliant. Brilliant. I should have I should have guessed it would be untradeable. And now suddenly my disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. But yeah, so that is pretty much everything that's in the game at the moment. Of course, uh, Foot Freeze and Saldi. Very, very good looking card. Do let me know in the comment section below if you're planning on doing him, what you think of this card. Do you think he's um do you think he's a little bit too expensive or do you think he's probably just priced about right? Because I think an 85 with a team of the week, it's probably going to be about, what are we saying? Probably about, I'd say maximum 100k. It may not be quite that expensive, probably between about 80 and 100. Um, with the team of the week, you might be looking at more of 100,000 coins. Would he be worth that? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Did you do the Markinus card as well? Let me know in the comment section below because I think, I think they're just a little bit, they're a little bit too expensive for my liking. I would like to see them just a little bit lower, um, but we'll have to see if EA changes that in the, in the coming days. But either way, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content, of course, a daily footmas content, I will try and get out, um, I think, midday videos of Draft to Glory, the Road to Glory as well, through um, through footmas and through December, because at the moment it's just, it's just this kind of 6 p.m., daily content at the moment so i will try and kind of double upload and get those out as well but for now hopefully i've enjoyed thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time